Yo, what is up guys? The Casey's here back with another video and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the similarities and differences of Kotlin and Swift. Um, as many of you guys know, there's a lot of functionality with Kotlin and on this channel we do a lot of iOS videos so most of you guys know Swift. Learning Kotlin will help you guys with a lot of cool things including Android and Flutter. Um, Kotlin is a very widely used language and is coming in a lot more platforms so I think it's a really good idea to learn Kotlin. Since you guys already know Swift, the two languages are super similar, so it won't take much learning at all. So I found this really cool website, um, whatever this URL is right here, I'll provide that in the description below. But really it's just showing the differences between Swift on the left and Kotlin on the right. Um, it, it, it's pretty similar, I mean this really doesn't matter too much. Um, but constant or yeah, constants are a little bit different. They're declared as let and swift, whereas val and Kotlin, um, as you can see, variables are the exact same or changing a variable is the same. Explicits are declared the same. If you want to convert another type to string to uh, concat, you have to um, declare it as a string, whereas in Kotlin, it just automatically does that for you. Um, interpolation, very similar in Kotlin. Um, you put this little money sign with brackets, um, whereas in iOS you have the slash with parentheses. Going down, um, there's a lot of really similar things. You guys can obviously go through this um, page. Um, four statements are basically the exact same. Uh, really, I'm making this video just to show you guys, like Kotlin's a very important language um, as a developer, a mobile developer, and the difference between Swift and Kotlin is very small. So if you're wanting to expand your languages, um, Kotlin will probably be the next big language to learn if you don't know it already. Or vice versa, if you do know Kotlin, Swift would be a great language to learn. We can keep going through this website, but I figured that that's probably a waste of all of your guys' time since you all can go through the website on your own. Um, really just wanted to make this video to kind of put this out there, let you guys know. If uh, you have any questions about Kotlin to Swift, please uh, drop a comment down below. And uh, if you guys like the video, please give it a, a like. Um, currently I'm working on social media app. So I know a lot of you guys really enjoyed the past two videos that I posted like that. Um, the next one I'm pretty excited about. I'm gonna be writing in both uh, iOS and Android. Um, so you guys can make a cross-platform social media app, which would be super sweet. And um, thank you all for watching the video. You're the real MVP. I do still have that giveaway going on. I believe that ends towards the end of this month. Um, on the video, there's like a comment with the uh, end date and all that stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. Peace.